We're on the corner of Razorback Road and Maple Street, Fayetteville, Arkansas, and the Razorback Stadium is the site for today's game. Hello, football fans. Brad Nessler here, along with Kirk Herbstreet in the booth and Aaron Andrews on the sidelines. Today's college football action is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste and zero calories. We've got the Alabama Crimson Tide and the Arkansas Razorbacks. Alabama, they've got to be pretty confident about their chances. Even when you're the team expected to win, you still need to come out and play a complete game, or else you could be looking at an embarrassing defeat. For Arkansas, the quarterback has got to keep tabs on this outstanding linebacker. The running back in the opposing backfield is a stud, so his support in the run defense today is going to be vital. It's time for the coin toss, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste and zero calories. Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. From his own goal line. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. They'll set up shot at the 24-yard line. We've got a first and 10. play fake that time they showed excellent pressure in getting to the quarterback on that play and give a lot of credit to the defense for not biting on that play action fake that's a great sack by the defense second and long ball on their own 19 Try to run it inside and hammered down. About two yards there on that delayed handoff. Third down and 13. Ball on the 21. He drops back. Home run ball in the air. And he's tackled at the 24. And they were ready for the blitz that time. Well, I tell you what, I would think twice about bringing the house like that against this offense. They handled it very well and turned it into a big game. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Rose and it's knocked away. This guy is mostly used to stop the run, but here he showed that he's not too bad against the pass either. From the 24-yard line, second down. He's looking for six. And here's another third down. He gets sacked on the play. Unfortunately, I've taken a few of those in my day, and they are not pleasant.
They call on the kicker for a long field goal. This will be about a 50-yard field goal attempt. So he can't put the ball through the uprights, and this ball will change possessions. So we'll change possession with a score. Alabama, nothing. Arkansas, nothing. They'll go to work at the 33-yard line. First down, 10 to go. That's a great tackle at the 40. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Now he's going to run and watch out. Slides down. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. From their own 49-yard line, it's first down. Inside run, and he's hit hard. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. And the ball carrier wasn't getting away from that tackle. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 50. Little screen pass intercepted. Tackle at the 47-yard line. I really like this corner's ability to read the play. He shows very good football smarts and pretty good hands, too. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47. Here's the halfback. He makes his way to about the 32. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32. Give to the tailback. And he hits him hard at the 17. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. First and 10. Ball on the 17. They hand it off again. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. First and goal from the four, looking for Pater. it out. Tackled for a loss. The halfback loses a yard on the toss. We've got second and goal. Ball on the six. And he makes it out to about the five-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. You won't break or bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. It's third and goal from the five. Let's see if they can put this one in. Going right, intercepted. When they had to, they just found a way to get to the ball and prevent the touchdown. That is a clutch play. from their own 20-yard line. First down. And he's 
tackled right away. They complete the slam. Good for 10. Well, the receiver does a nice job on his route. And how about the throw by the quarterback? Perfect execution. But when those two things are going well, the offense has a good chance of picking up big yards. Second down and short. Ball on the 30-yard line. Very good tackle in space. That was a nice catch. He went up, leaving his body susceptible to the hit, but he came down with it and got a first down. Wide open, he drops it. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 36. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. That's a seven-yard gain. That's a good completion. They didn't get the first down, but they picked up about seven yards. It's fourth down. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Nice yardage on the run back. They'll set up shop at the 28. First and 10. Play action. Incomplete. It's second and 10. Ball on their own 28. They come out on an empty backfield. Drops back to pass. And he's brought down at the 46. Well, what can you say? Sometimes you need a little bit of luck. And it's on the offensive side on that play. They got away with throwing into some heavy coverage. From the 46-yard line, it's first down. First down, look at the throw. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Two-yard loss for the halfback. Great penetration into the backfield. And that was just a great hit to finish off the play. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. Has it to the senior. And they finally push him out at the 19-yard line. Good start in the passing game. That's 100 yards already. Still a long game. And I'm sure this defense is going to adjust to this passing attack because right now the offense is seemingly moving the ball at will. From the 19-yard line, first down. This defense is looking to make it three straight trips to the red zone without a single point. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. And the defense just swarmed over him on that one. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance.
Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Fires quick. Tipped. Good awareness defensively that time by the linebacker. Not only that, but as you saw, he also made a very athletic move to get to the ball. They'll call on the field goal unit here. This one is from 38 yards away. And the field goal is good. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. Our score here at Razorback Stadium, Alabama 3, Arkansas nothing. Alabama to kick. He'll take it from the two. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. From their own 19-yard line, first down. And he's hit immediately. They pick up a few yards there on the pass. And I'll tell you what, that fake handoff froze the secondary just enough to allow for the receiver to come up with a nice gain that time. Good call. First and 10. Ball on the 30-yard line. He heaves it deep. The defender had it and then dropped it. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance. But that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. it up the middle for a nice run. From their own 35-yard line, it's third down. Throws complete and he's hit right away. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. Tackle made at the 20. He really didn't have any room to work on that front return. Yeah, but his blockers have to do a better job of helping him out. They didn't hold the coverage team at bay. They just let him right through. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Caught. Enough for the first down. A part of any quarterback's arsenal should be the ability to sell the run with a good fake. He does a really good job here on the fake, and then they pick up some nice yards. And it's caught. Knocked out of bounds at the 45. He had a couple of freight trains coming at him, but when they blitzed, it created a hole in the coverage, and they took advantage of it. From the 45-yard line, it's first down. He's tackled in the open field. He's had a good game, snaring passes for 100 yards. You know, if you were to ask this defense, who wants to cover this guy, I bet you nobody's going to raise their hand because this receiver is embarrassing them. And there's still a lot of ball game to play, fellas. 
And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Nobody covering the tight end, and he's got it. First and goal coming up. He's knocked out after a big game. That makes it makes it first and goal. First down. So they line up on the three-yard line going in. They're crowding the line. Gives it to the back. Touchdown. The halfback just plowed his way into the end zone. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive lineman just pancaked the defense on that one. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nice six-play, 79-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. The score now, 10-0. Alabama gets set to kick this one away. It's fielded at the two. Tackle at the 20. This drive will start at the 20-yard line. It's first and 10. And he's level at the 30. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. From their own 30-yard line, it's first down. They'll run it inside and tackle quickly. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. The Crimson Tide take a timeout, and they've got two remaining. Back to pass. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Tackle made at the 46-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 46-yard line. He looks to throw on first down. And they got him. Alabama will have one timeout remaining. So the sack makes this a second and long. Got a receiver and he dropped it. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area who's trying to throw that one into. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. Looks to pass, and he can't get away from the pressure. Alabama will take their final timeout.
They'll bring him down at the 34. You hope that a lane or two will open up and give you some space to work with, but that never happened on this kick. You always hope for that extra contribution from your special teams to take some of the burden off your offense. They've already shown the ability to move the ball, and that's what they're going to have to do again here. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. And down he goes, around the 50-yard line. I'll tell you what, that was a pretty nice toss for a running back. He's got to get some congratulations on the sideline for that one. From the 50, it's first down. They'll throw on first down. Incomplete. It's knocked down by the defense. Fantastic individual effort right there. It looked like there was some space for the pass, but the defender got enough of a hand on it to prevent the touchdown. bring him down at the 29 yard line pretty solid first half that's 200 yards passing so far this offense has been pretty effective by throwing the football from the 29 yard line first down He's looking for six. He caught it for the touchdown. This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. You've always got to be on your toes when you're covering this guy. He hits the PAT, a four-play, 67-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. So the score now, 17, nothing. Alabama to kick. He really got a hold of that kick. Brought down at the 26. The offense will take over at the 26-yard line. Strike complete and the defense swarming. About six yards on the play. You get six yards and that makes picking up a first down very reasonable. It's second down and about three yards. Ball on their own 32. throws it and it's tipped away it looked like the quarterback thought he had an open receiver there but I don't think he saw the linebacker they need about three yards to get the first down here on third down flares one out the defender had his hands on it but it's incomplete these guys were ready for the pass and played it well to come up with the deflection about two minutes before halftime. He's out to the 30. Tackle made at the 33. Not great, but not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're headed in the right direction. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33. Cut. 
He's going to go for the home run. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. Third and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. Back to pass. Pass is left, going the other way. Brought down at the 45. Really nice cover skill shown here this time. That's exactly what you want to see from your young corners. From the 45-yard line, first down. On the ground with the tailback. So they get five yards there on the halfback draw. Arkansas will take their first time out of the half. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He tackles him for a loss. Two-yard loss for the halfback. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. Tackle at the 29. Successful offenses always get the ball into their playmakers' hands however they can. The screen play is certainly one of those ways to accomplish that. From the 29-yard line, it's first down. The Razorbacks call for a timeout. That was their second timeout. Got him. And he goes down quickly. Awesome extension to make the grab. It looked for sure like it was going to be out of his reach. So a great catch and a pretty good pickup. That one's good for about seven yards. They'll line it up again on third down. Nice run there. The defense is having a difficult time stopping this drive. Right now, they're doing enough to be in situations they want to be in, but they have to finish the job. And the plays start to add up, so we'll have to see if this defense starts to look tired out there. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. And it's knocked down. It's third down. Defense gets set to defend the short field. And he makes it out to about the eight-yard line. Classic situational play calling. Running strong on... Short, it'll move the chains. Back to pass. Can't make the catch in the end zone. You don't think these guys get aggressive when it counts? Terrific hit to prevent the score. Second down. Only seven yards from a touchdown. Play 13 of the current drive. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Way to look it in. That's a three-yard pickup. This junior wide receiver had absolutely no room to run after the catch. Good play by the defense. So with the half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. Arkansas will call a timeout, and that was their last timeout. And he got it.
They might just want to squib this one. Only a few seconds left here before halftime. Calls for the fair catch. They've got their backs against the wall. Ball on the three. Throws it deep downfield. Incomplete. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Our halftime score, Alabama 17, Arkansas 3. Alabama is set to kick this ball off, and we're just about set to get the second half started. Taken from the three-yard line. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Aaron Andrews has a report now from the sideline. The rushing attack on both sides was pretty weak. And for Alabama, their two sacks in the first half could give them something to build on in the second. Brad, back up to you. They definitely want to score on this series, especially so the crowd can come alive. They'll start at the 22. There's a fumble. Scooped up by the defense. They'll bring him down at the 26. That's a tough break, but he's going to get another chance today. What I want to see is if he'll change his running style after losing the ball like this. The offense will take over at the 26-yard line. Rose intercept. No, he dropped it. From the 26-yard line, second down. Back to pass. To the end zone, touchdown! converts the extra point. A short two-play, 26-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. So the score now, 24-3. Alabama ready to kick this one off. From the seven. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. First and 10. First down, look at the throw. Got it to the senior. And they make the stop at the 41-yard line. From their own 41-yard line, it's first down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Fires across the middle. Tackle made at the 45. From their own 45-yard line, second down. Back to pass. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. Third down. 
Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. Wow. That looks like a generous spot to me. I thought he was a little bit short. First and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. And he stopped behind the line. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. Wide open and he just drops it. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He goes downtown. That close to being intercepted. It's always big when you can get in the way of a pass on third down because you know the offense is bringing it. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. They'll get the ball here at the 20. First and 10. And they tackle him at the 47. First and ten. Ball on their own 47. They'll throw on first down. Throws it deep downfield. He caught it. Touchdown. And that completion gives him over 300 yards through the air. This young man really works at it, and it's always a boost to see that hard work reflected in the box score. He should be very pleased. Splits the uprights with the extra point. A quick two-play, 80-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. I think the big thing there, Brad, is that they were able to execute in the passing game. When you can get big plays and great execution, obviously you're going to move the ball down the field. So our score, 31-3. From his own goal line. They'll bring him down at the 27. They'll go to work at the 27-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Drops back on first down. It's complete, and he's immediately tackled. They got a little bit there, but less than a yard. Usually, you get a linebacker covering the tight end, so they might want to try some longer passes to exploit that mismatch. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Fires incomplete. From their own 28-yard line, it's third down. Oh. 
He drops back. Fires deep down the right side. And got him. He goes down at the 17. The offense caught him flat-footed to convert that third and long. You can tell by the coach's reaction that that is a huge disappointment. From the 17-yard line, it's first down. Throws right, intercepted. That is not where the quarterback wanted to go with the ball. That's not a good pass at all. And that's going to go down as his second interception of the day. from their own 30-yard line. First down. Play fake. No, incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. his receiver and that's a first down well the defensive backs completely jumped the run only the run was never there it was just that misstep that allowed the completion drops back on first down drops it From their own 42-yard line, second down. Makes the handoff, and he's in trouble. There's sack number four. Well, he's being forced to make really quick decisions because he doesn't have any time to throw the ball. That's going to lead to turnovers. Third and long now after the sack. Drops back to pass. He caught it. He goes down at the five-yard line. He's put up some great numbers in this one. 400 yards passing now. I like the way he's throwing the football today, showing a lot of poise in the pocket. This is certainly one of the better performances we've seen in a while. First and goal from the five. They're knocking on the door. Zings it over the middle. Touchdown. He's ringing up the points with all these touchdown throws. That's his fourth. Well, what we have right now is a quarterback who's very comfortable with his offense. He believes in his system, and the coaches and players believe in him. You couldn't ask for a better situation. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So that's a six-play, 69-yard drive. And a touchdown as a result. So our score, 38-3. Alabama lines up for the kickoff. Taken at the five. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. They'll go to work at the 29-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Knocked down, incomplete. I don't think the quarterback read the zone properly. The linebacker was in a great spot to make a play on the ball. 
So it's second and ten. Ball on the 29. Off and he's met in the backfield. Think about the speed and instincts it takes for a linebacker to get from his position into the backfield to make a play like that. That's well done. He drops back. Doesn't get there. Nice play by the defense to bring up fourth down. Yeah, instead of going for the interception, they did the same thing, and that was just to tip it away. He's to the 40. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. What a day this receiver's putting together, Kirk. Well, Brad, he really has, and he's got the hot hand. And let's give some credit to the offensive coordinator because he's smart enough to get the football to him and allow him to make these plays that's helping his offense out. And now with these two scores, you've got to think that this defense is going to try to do something to slow him down. Well, even though they enjoy a large lead, he's heading back out with the offense. So a chance to add to his stat line. They'll go to work at the 46-yard line. He looks to throw on first down. They bring him down. He has one job on passing situations. Get to the quarterback. And he did that job very, very well on that play. From their own 31-yard line, second down. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Drops back to pass. He lets it fly. And this one's broken up. Boy, that ball seemed to float in the air forever, and it looked like the corner who got to it first. That's what happens sometimes when you give it too much air. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. He's going to go for the home run. Incomplete. Almost picked off. Nice play by the defense to bring up fourth down. The defender made a solid effort to get to the ball there. Nice stop. Booming kick. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at the 31. Decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often does have the ability to make guys miss. They still have time to put up a few scores. The question is, will it be enough, and can their defense make enough stops for it to matter? Feeds it to the back. He gets out to about the 44-yard line, and the tailback broke that one for a very nice game. Give the offensive line some kudos there. They blocked very well up front to create the holes for this back. It's first and 10. Ball on the 44. He'll get it again. Good outside run there. From their own 48-yard line, it's second down. Caught, and he's hit immediately. A pickup of about three. You know, this veteran wide receiver is not always easy to stop. So that's a good job here by the defense to slow him down. Here's a run, and the defense just swallows him up. That was nose-to-nose -nose football right there. And the defense this time wins the battle. And it looks like they're going to run away with this one as we head into the fourth quarter. The count here in Fayetteville. Alabama, 38. Arkansas, 3. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Oh. 
They'll go to the ground, and they're not going to make it. And that was a big stop defensively. Yeah, they only needed a few yards here to keep the drive alive. Great job by the defense to shut them down. Really a great stop by the defense. This will go down as one of those critical plays. He fights forward to about the 49. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 49. Drops back to pass. Caught. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line. That reception gives him 200 yards in this game. And the defense has even shifted the secondary over to try to provide a little more help. Just has it mattered. This receiver is still having his way with the defense. From the 30-yard line, first down. They'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Besides going deep on the fade, the slant route is probably the most commonly run route against man coverage. If the receiver gets a good inside release, it'll be a new set of downs every time. He's got the corner. Now it's first and goal as he's knocked out after a nice game. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. He fights forward to about the seven. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. We've watched this guy play, and over the course of his college career, he's made some spectacular tackles. Nice play. And he rifles it in there for the touchdown. And that's his fifth touchdown throw. Simply an unbelievable display of passing that we've seen today. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nice six-play, 50-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. So the score now, 45-3. Alabama lines up for the kickoff. He'll take it from the two. Tackle made at the 33-yard line. They'll take over at the 33. First down, 10 to go. Caught enough for the first down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He goes down at the 25. Nice play across the middle. He's taken down at the 16. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. So they're back in the red zone where they threw a pick on their last visit. It's broken up. He played that pass more like a safety than a linebacker. Sensational play to get his fingers on the ball. From the 16-yard line, third down. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. He got the first down and much more. I'll tell you what, this guy is a threat every single time he touches the ball. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Back 
tackled after a decent pickup. Second down. They're four yards away. Here we go. Tackle at the four-yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. And this play is number eight on the drive. They put everyone up on the line. I'm pretty sure they won't win it, but they haven't quit yet. Kirk, how about that touchdown? I thought the quarterback made a nice read right here. He checked off his receivers and went to the open running back. And he adds the extra point. So that's an eight-play, 66-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. So the score now, 45-10. And they're on it. The offense will start at the 40. We've got a first and 10. They come out in a five-wide set. He's got it with room to run. They'll bring him down at the 44-yard line. From their own 44-yard line, it's second down. Takes it right, and he can't get back to the line of scrimmage. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. Back to pass. And he's going to come up with a sack. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. So it's fourth down. They come out in a punt formation. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. For Arkansas, they've been getting into the backfield quite a bit. Well, this is really what it's all about as a defense. If you can turn up the pressure, it's going to create more opportunities for your defense. Well, right now they're using great athletic ability to put pressure on the quarterback. And I think the one thing that's very obvious for any offense is when you're facing this kind of pressure, it starts to become a mental game as much as a physical aspect of it. And right now this defense is in the head of this offense. Well, when this offense does complete a pass, they're not doing that badly. And at this point in the game, the offensive coordinator's got to be scratching his head because you can't run the football. Every time you drop back to throw, the quarterback's getting hit. He's just trying to figure out any play that would be successful to try to slow down this defense and get his offense into some kind of rhythm. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 44. Here's a running play. And he's tackled after positive yardage. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 48. Just under two to go in the game. Gives it to the back. Runs right for a nice game. From the 47-yard line, third down. He's on the run. They'll make the sack. They simply have too much speed for this offensive line. They're just too quick off the ball. Huh. 
Here's the long ball, left side. Broken up. There's a missed opportunity by the offense. They'll go to work at the 39-yard line. Under a minute left. They'll throw on first down. Got it. And he goes down quickly. From the 35-yard line, second down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Looks to pass. Passes, and it's almost picked off. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 29. Back to pass. And the ball's pop loose. That's pretty much the best way to make sure the receiver doesn't catch it. He just put his pads on him the second he touched it. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. And he's tackled at the 13-yard line. There was good pressure coming in, but he stood his ground and found his teammate for a nice game. From the 13-yard line, first down. Intercepted, and I think I can hear the fat lady singing. The five, he's all the way home, touchdown. They aren't showing very good sportsmanship out there on this touchdown. You're blowing them out, just take a knee. Makes the PAT. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score Alabama 52, Arkansas 10. So, what are your final thoughts on this one, Kirk? I have to say that I wasn't expecting a blowout victory. Arkansas got absolutely crushed today in this football game. I hope they can put this one past them because sometimes it's difficult for a program to bounce back after an embarrassing loss like that. Couldn't have asked for a better game from this guy. He's our player of the game winner. That'll do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 12. For Kirk Herbstreit and Aaron Andrews, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.